Okay. Go. Oh my days! This is the pace you buy it for! 91 rated gold Kylian Mbappe is 1.5 million coins. Today we're going to use one of the most sought after cards in FIFA 23. Mbappe's high, low, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot with 97 pace and 92 dribbling. Today we're going to answer two main questions about this card. Is he the best player in the game and is he worth the ridiculous price tag? On the ball, Mbappe is probably one of the most agile players you're going to find. The Elasticos are just coming off so crispy that we got three players around us pretty much and he just keeps the ball with ease to Mbappe oh. Oh. what pen, pen. I've never taken a pen in this, in this game Whoa. oh my days what am I supposed to do I don't know oh yeah <laughs> this contribution from the penalty spot but Mbappe okay okay finish it finish it finish it pen like what pen? That's a pen. What are we doing, bro? <laughs> Come on, second goal of the game. Killian Mbappe. You never heard of them? No? <laughs> First game for Mbappe, 7.5 rating, two goals. Oh, Mbappe. days bro this guy he scores for you then he scores against you it's it's impossible to defend this guy okay his mbappe bro is cooking me his mbappe is cooking me oh my days why he's such a playmaker this year he's actually such a playmaker go 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 finish post, post. mbappe mbappe to luis diaz look at, look at, look at the build up play look at the build up play Look at him go! Facilitation! Kill you! Go! Oh my days! This is the pace you buy him for! <laughs> Turbo! Come on! Oh, inside tackle! Mbappe! Center back Mbappe! Yes! Yes! He can create! Oh, we're offside! But what was that? That he turned into prime Cannavaro! Oh my god! Oh my god, bro, 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 sort your feet out, Mbappe, all that money, you can't figure out how to sort your feet out. Mbappe, finish it, finish it, baby, we're back in the game. <laughs> Vamos, that's his hat trick, boys, that's his hat trick. This is what he can do, look at that, beauty. look at that face. If he scores against you, you're smashing your controller through the table. If he scores for you, you're smiling all day. Pen, pen, come on. Thank you, we get his third pen of the game, bro. Third pen of the game. Third pen of the game. We've gone down the left, we've gone down the right. Come on. Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Mental mind games, OP and pop. Come on. What you saying? What you saying? <laughs> GG's, GG's. Game number two, Mbappe, four goals, one assist with a 9.6 rating and man of the match. Oh, no! Post! Why? Why, bro? Starting game three off with an L. Oh my god, no, no, don't, don't, don't complain. We're back on. Oh, no, complain. No. Mbappe. Bro, why? He gets into such good spots, but sometimes the final little bit, it just isn't there. I don't know if that's the game, the game dribbling mechanics or Mbappe, but if, if he can't do it, I don't think anyone's going to be able to do it. Oh my God, look at that ball. No, Mbappe. Literally, we're playing Xavi ball and Mbappe frauds. This has not been our game. This has not been our game. Mbappe has not been doing well, but it's, it's the tough games where you need someone that's good. It's tough where you need someone that can do pull a goal out of nowhere. And that's what we're trying to do right here. No, but the blocks, man. Third game, 6.2 rating for Mbappe. Awful performance. Let's get into the final game of the end. Mbappe, Mbappe, come on. We're, we're starting off early. We're starting the come on final game. Mbappe, what are you saying? What are you saying? To conclude, I don't believe Mbappe is the best player in this game because left stick dribbling at this moment in time isn't super overpowered. It's a very direct meta passing play what you see. And 
And Bobby's still good at that, but it doesn't really utilize his skill moves and his dribbling to the point that it did in FIFA 21 and 22. But he is still very fast. 97 pace with 97 acceleration and 99 sprint speed if you keep him on basic. I would recommend maybe giving him a finisher just to get his shooting and his dribbling up because the pace is as good as it's going to get. And the passing, maybe Deadeye, if you have a problem with the passing, I think a lot of people played Deadeye on Mbappe last year because they could not deal with the passing. 93 finishing with 88 shot power is, is more than enough at this moment in the game. With 92 attack position, he is lethal in front of goal that four star weak foot feels really really solid and I, and I mentioned earlier that one of my biggest surprises with this card was the passing 85 short passing felt good the long passing felt good the curve everything he used making passes that could be the game's passing mechanics this year but it also could be maybe he's not as, as dreadful in the build-up play as, as he's been in past years and then the dribbling 93 agility low balance which is a bit of a bummer but Dribbling isn't as as good as it's been. I, I said that earlier, but he's gonna be as but he's gonna be as good as as anyone when it comes to dribbling on the ball. Skill moves are are a bit dodgy at this moment in time, so I, I would maybe try and incorporate skill moves when you can, but still it's it's risky because you lose the ball a lot of time when you do skill moves in this game and then the traits flare out to the foot shot speed dribbler tackle dribbler very very good traits for someone and then obviously the chemistry the links psg links french nationality links and, and just play, if you use another psg player who pretty much most of the time be on full chemistry and then you can get the stat boost as well and another thing to point out with mbappe is he does have a secondary position of center forward and left wing so as a winger, I think he could be really good because he's so fast. He just plays through balls down the wing every single time, and he just scores. He scores. He scores. That's what this card does. But uh, to answer the second question, the, the price tag, I, I do think he is worth the price tag because the price tag isn't going to go down. He's not going to decrease in price until months and months and months and now, months away from now. He may even go up because as more people come out of the game, more people want to use the card. The price goes up while the pack weight does stay the same. So... If you want to buy him, if you pack him, I think there's a decision you have to make if you want to use this card or sell him. And if he's untradeable, I would definitely just use him, use him the entire year because he is one of the best cards in this game. But that's going to do it for the play review. If you enjoyed, leave a like, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.